good afternoon students welcome back to chemistry class today we are going to study about energies of orbitals energies of orbitals okay what about orbitals in previous sections we studied about the orbitals now we are going to study uh, study about the energies of orbitals okay and first you know what is the structure of atom this is the nucleus so okay center of the center of the atom having the nucleus and this nucleus surrounded by the electrons in a circular path this circular path we called as the orbits okay we as we know among the four quantum numbers first we studied about the principal quantum number that is denoted by symbol small n okay this n value it represents the energy of energy levels of an orbit okay for n value n value means principal quantum number it represents the energies various energy uh, levels of an orbit already we studied about that when n is equal to 1 means first shell okay first energy level n is equal to 2 means second second energy level n is equal to 3 means third shell that is third energy level and n is equal to 4 means fourth shell or fourth energy level okay these are the various energy level so n value only depends upon the energy of the orbitals okay so the energy depends upon only the n value okay n value only depends upon the energy of the orbitals when n value increases the energy of the orbitals also increases okay when n value increases the energy of the orbitals also increases okay here n is equal to 1 means this is the very lowest energy orbitals lower energy orbitals and is equal to 1 mean very lower energy orbital okay low energy state when n is equal to 2 means this is higher energy when compared to n is equal to 1 okay n is equal to 3 it is also higher than n is equal to 1 and 2 okay when n is equal to 4 means fourth orbit it is the energy of fourth orbit it is also higher than third orbit or second orbit or first orbit okay well, so the n value n value increases the energy of the orbits also increases okay well, this is the increasing order of energy various energy orbitals when n is equal to 1 it is less than n is equal to 2 it is less than n is equal to 3 it is less than n is equal to 4 these are the various energy levels of increasing order of energy levels okay for the n value depend upon the n value okay so when n value increases the energy of the orbital will be increases okay then let us consider the energy level of hydrogen like atom there is only one electron atom hydrogen you know atomic number of hydrogen one so atomic number means number of protons or number of electrons okay here how many number of electrons are having only one electrons so electronic configuration one plus one okay the so hydrogen atom suppose this hydrogen atom having only one electron so it is occupy the one plus orbit tall so this is the nucleus this is first shell this first shell one plus one orbitals having the hydrogen atom suppose it gain energy <coughs> suppose it gain energy it move to the second orbit or third orbit or fourth orbit okay it depend upon the energy okay but which uh, how much energy it it can op Uh, gain it will be go to the second orbit or third orbit or fourth orbit okay so this hydrogen atom it is in it is present in one first orbit first shell this orbit we we this state we called as the ground state okay okay so, so it will it gain some energy it will go to the second energy orbital second or third or fourth uh, already we studied about that uh, uh, from the bohr's atomic model uh, bohr's uh, atom model 
assumptions assumptions from assumptions of bohr atom model we, we studied when when an electron it gains energy it will go to the higher energy state when it loses its energy it will come to the lower energy state already we studied about that okay so here hydrogen atom it uh, it gains some energy it go to the higher energy state okay how will you write the increasing order of the various energy levels for the hydrogen atom first upon hydrogen atom it will stay the 1s1 orbital so 1s1 it is the energy of the 1s1 orbital is very low energy less than 2s and it is equal to 2p orbital okay so n value 2 n value 2 essential how many orbitals are having two orbitals what are the orbitals s orbital and p orbitals okay second shell having two subshells okay this uh, for n value will be same okay 2s is equal to 2p for the same n value the same energy is having the subshell okay the same uh, the n value same n value will be same uh, this the same subshells having the same energy okay that is 2 is equal to 2p okay it is less than after that n is equal to 3 means n is equal to 3 means how many subshells are having uh, third shell how many subshells are having three subshells 3s three 3p three and 3d for these three subshells having same energy okay so 3s is equal to 3p is equal to 3d after that fourth orbit n is equal to four for n is equal to four how much subshells are having there are four subshells what are the four subshells for us s p d and f for this four same subshells having same energy okay so four s is equal to four p is equal to four d it is equal to four f okay it is less than after that uh, here n value 5 n value 5 means fifth orbit fifth orbit how many subshells are having four subshells 5s 5p 5d and 5f okay we can write 5s is equal to 5p is equal to 5d is equal to 5f okay for the same subshells having same energy okay and uh, uh, n is equal to 6 means 6 how many subshells are having four subshells okay uh, 6s is equal to 6p is equal to 6d is equal to 6f okay it is less than and after that 7 okay 7s okay students understood so for the hydrogen like atoms that is only one electron like atoms the electrons this is one as uh, it is in ground state it becomes very low energy okay it will be suppose it will gain some energy it may be go to the second third orbitals okay so it will be go to the second uh, orbital it has the higher energy than first orbital okay so it, it will be staying the same orbital it have the same energy okay for the uh, for means uh, two uh, two sec, uh, second shell n is equal to two means second shell here the same shell there are two subshells are having these two subshells are have same energy okay these values depend upon the hydrogen like atoms these energy increasing order of energy levels it is only depend upon the hydrogen like atoms okay for the uh, but for the multi electron systems multi electron system is more than two more than two uh, electron systems increasing order of energy levels are followed by n plus l rule for multi electron system the increasing order of energy levels are followed by n plus l rule okay i have uh, right the increase the order of energy I have written the increase order of energies that is this order it is only suitable for one electron systems like hydrogen atom for the multi electron atom we can write the increasing order of energy levels using n plus l rule okay what do you mean by l n plus l rule the lower value of n plus l for an orbital the lower is its energy 
सपोज इफ टू ऑर्बिटॉल्स हैव द सेम वैल्यू ऑफ एन प्लस एल द ऑर्बिटॉल विथ लोअर वैल्यू ऑफ एन विल हैव द लोअर एनर्जी ओके सो वट यू मीन बाई एन प्लस एल एन प्लस एल मीन्स एन वैल्यू प्लस एल वैल्यू ओके हियर दिस इज एन वैल्यू दिस दिस ऑल द एन वैल्यू ओके एन वैल्यू मीन्स प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर it it represents the energy levels okay and l value l value means subshells it indicates the shape of the orbital that is indicates the subshells okay uh, subshell zero means s orbital okay one mean p orbital two mean d orbital f mean uh, three mean d f orbital already we studied about that clearly okay this is the uh, designation cell notation okay one means uh, one n is equal to one uh, zero l value zero means one s orbital n is equal to two l is equal to zero means two s n is equal to two l is equal to one means two p orbital already we studied that clearly here what do you mean by n plus l n plus l means n value added with the l value okay so first n is equal to 1 means 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 n plus l 1 here 2 n is equal to 2 l is equal to 0 means 2 plus 0 2 here n plus 1 n is equal to 2 l is equal to 1 means 2 plus 1 3 here 3 plus 0 3 Three plus one four, three plus two five, four plus zero four, four plus one five, four plus two six, four plus three seven, and then fifth orbit. Okay, n value five, five plus zero five, five plus one six, five plus two seven, five plus three. Eight. Okay, this is the sixth orbit. This four, uh, the six n is good. Six means sixth orbit. Okay, so uh, n plus one means six plus zero six. Six plus one seven. Uh, six plus two eight. Six plus three nine. And seven plus zero seven. Okay, this is the n plus l value. Okay, so how will you write the uh, uh, how will you write the increase in order of energy level according to n plus l rule? N plus l rule means the lower value of n plus l for the for an orbital, the lower is its energy. Okay, after explain with an example, you can understand. Now we can write the increasing order of energies of orbital is first. First n plus l value, the lower value of n plus l value. Here z. When we are saying this, all values, which one is the lower value? One. One is the lower value. Okay. So what is the orbital? One s. Okay. So we can write one s. Okay. It is less than. It is very very lower energy orbital. One s less than. After that, second n plus l. Value two, okay. Two, how many two value? Here only one two value. So we can write two. What is the orbital? Two yes, okay. One yes, this less than two yes. And after that three. Next lower n plus l value three. Three is the next lower n plus l value. But here two same n plus l value having. Okay, what are the two same n plus l value three three having the, here two three having okay two values are three having here so we can take if two orbitals have same value we can take the orbital with lower value of n n plus l value uh, suppose n plus l value it is same. We can take the lower n value, okay? Uh, which one is the lower n value between these three, these two same n plus l value? Which one is the lower n value? We can take that first, okay? So for three, which is which one is the lower n value? This three here n is equal to two, okay? So two is the lower value when compared to three. Another one is three n value three. Okay, we can take first two n plus uh, n value two. So what is the orbital? Two p orbital. Okay, so after that two s, we can take two p, and then we can take three s. Okay, why? It is less than three, three s, and less than 
another uh, next lower n plus l value four okay four how many four value having here here for this uh, n value three here four and after that uh, n value four n plus l value four two same n plus l value having so we can take first lower n value we can check which one is the lower n value this one is the lower n value the three and here four so we can take this three okay so orbital name three p so we can take right tip three p okay this less than after that four four yes and less than and after that which one is the lower n value after that four uh, after that four five five is the lower n plus l value here five value uh, how many five values are having here one two three three five values are having so we can uh, take which one is the smaller n value okay here uh, for this five uh, three is the lower n value okay this five four this five five okay so we can take this three so three means orbital name 3d okay and then 3d it is less than after that 4p okay for this 5 4p n value 4 we can take the 4p after that this here 5 having so the n value lower n value 5 so we can take 5s okay so after that 5 which one is the lower n plus l, l value 6 okay 6 here 1 6 having and here on 6 and here on 6 okay but totally 3 6 value having so we can take the lower n value you know this is the lower n value 4 uh, and for this 6 5 n value 5 and this 6 n value 6 okay we can take first this 4 okay so after that 5 5 years it is less than 4 d and less than 5 p and less than 6 6 6 years and it is less than after that which one is the lower n plus l value 7 is the lower n l plus value totally how much 7 value having here 1 here 1 here 1 here 1 totally 4 7 values are having here so we can take the lower n value okay here 4 is the lower n value here the 5 and uh, lower n value here the 6 lower n value here the 7 lower n value so we can take the first 4 4 we can take so we can write 4 f and less than 5 d and less than 6 p and less than 7 s okay and after that sub 8 uh, completed is 7 so we can take the 8 how many 8 8 n plus l value having here 2 8 value okay 8 value 2 having so we can take 5 of first and take 6 d second okay this less than after that 9 n uh, okay uh, completed okay 6 d this is the increasing order of energies of orbitals okay wow. increasing order of based on the n plus rule n plus l rule the increasing order of energies of orbitals are this okay understood okay and then we can study what do you mean by degenerate orbitals what do you mean by degenerate orbitals okay degenerate orbital mean in the absence of magnetic field all the all the orbitals of the same subshell of an atom have the same energy that is called a degenerate in the absence of the magnetic field all the orbitals of the same subshell okay all the orbitals of the same subshell you know uh, within the shell the subshells are having within the subshells orbitals are having you know okay uh, for for example the k shell k shell only one uh, subshell this is subshell and uh, l shell how many subshells are having two subshells what are the s and p okay within the subshells what are the subshell s and p the sub, within the p subshells the orbitals are having how many orbitals three orbitals p x p y and p z you know okay well. so in the absence of any external energy all the orbitals of the same subshell 
all the orbitals of the same subcell of an atom have the same energy that is called degenerate orbitals okay that is called degenerate orbitals for for example we can take the sodium okay sodium atomic number 11 you know so what is the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s1 okay so we can write the electronic configuration 1s2 so first shell first orbital s orbital you know only one orientation so how many orbit electrons two orbit two electrons we can write here and the one is clockwise and another one is anti-clockwise and the second 2s2 2s2 how many uh, orientation only one 2s orbit s orbital only one orientation so one is clockwise and another one is anti-clockwise and then 2p 2p orbitals okay p orbital how many uh, p subshell how many orbitals are having there are three orbitals are having what are the three orbitals px py and puz 2px 2py and 2pz okay 2px uh, when we are when we, uh, we are filling the electrons we can fill for singly okay first one two three four five and six okay and three is three is, is orbital only one orbital so only one electron okay so here this is the electronic configuration for sodium atom okay when any external energy will be applied they the energy of the electrons of the same subshell will differ okay wow. okay still any external energy applying the energy of the electrons of the same subshells are same okay wow. for example the p orbital the p subshell how many orbitals are having three orbitals are having the three orbitals are, have same energy okay wow. that is called degenerate okay understood okay students now we are going to study about the what force acting among the nucleus and electrons and among the electrons and electrons okay the electrostatic nuclear force the electrostatic force of attraction mean nuclear force effective nuclear force it acted acting upon the nucleus and electrons and the between the electrons the electrons you know the electrons are revolve around the nucleus in the various orbitals so that among the orbitals whatever force act their repulsive force acting among the electrons and electrons okay the nuclear force acting upon the uh, nucleus and the electrons and the repulsive force acting upon the electrons and electrons okay so these two forces are, are operating in opposite direction these two forces are operating in opposite direction for example we are taking the magnesium atom magnesium you know the atomic number of magnesium 12 so electronic configuration how the electrons are filled in a shell in shell uh, 2 comma 8 comma 2 first shell we can occupy second uh, two electrons and second shell we can accommodate eight electrons first shell two electrons and second shell we can accommodate eight electrons and last third shell we can accommodate two electrons okay within the shell subshells and orbitals are having but now we are considering only shells don't confuse it okay so there are two forces of attraction act among the act, acting among the uh, nucleus and electrons okay so the nuclear force of attraction nuclear force of attraction acting among the nucleus this nucleus and the electrons in a on an orbitals okay you know the nucleus is the positive charge and electrons is the negative charge the nucleus is the positive charge and the electrons is the negative charge okay so the positive and negative charge always attract each other okay the all on uh, the positive charge this nucleus positive charge 
ഓക്കെ മെഗ്നീഷ്യം അറ്റോമിക് നമ്പർ ട്വൽവ് സോ ട്വൽവ് പ്രോട്ടോൺ വടി വടി മീൻ ബൈ അറ്റോമിക് നമ്പർ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് പ്രോട്ടോൺസ് ഓർ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ഇലക്ട്രോൺസ് ഓക്കെ ഹിയർ ട്വൽവ് പ്രോട്ടോൺസ് ആൻഡ് ട്വൽവ് ഇലക്ട്രോൺസ് ആർ ഹാവിങ് ഹിയർ സോ ഹെവി ന്യൂക്ലിയർ ചാർജ് ഹെവി ന്യൂക്ലിയർ ചാർജ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ആക്ടിങ് വിത്തിൻ ദ ന്യൂക്ലിയേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ അറൗണ്ട് ദ ന്യൂക്ലിയേഴ്സ് ഹെവി ന്യൂക്ലിയർ ചാർജസ് ആർ ഹാവിങ് okay so this nuclear charge means positive charge it always attracts okay this heavy positive charge attracts the electrons towards itself okay this force we called as nuclear force nuclear force or otherwise known as electrostatic force of attraction okay due to this high nuclear force second and second shell and third shells is also attracted by the nuclear force but at the same time at the same time there is a repulsive force exist between the first and second and third shell okay when nuclear force it attract the electrons uh, from the first or first shell second shell and third shell also but here from the electrons first shell electrons or second shell electrons and third shell electrons between these electrons the repulsive electrons uh, repulsive force al- also acting okay already we studied about that same and uh, same charge always uh, repel each other okay opposite charge only attract each other same charge always repel each other here magnesium atom the nuclear nucleus attracts the second and third shell electrons but there is there also exist a repulsive force among the second first uh, and the third shell electrons okay first second and third shell electron these two forces operating in opposite direction whatever force the repulsive repulsive force and the attractive force these forces are acting opposite direction this results the nuclear charge is decreased on the electrons okay so so this results the nuclear forces are decreased on the electrons so among the first shell electrons experience heavy nuclear charge than second and third shell electrons understood okay because they are having the repulsive force because the heavy nuclear charge it experience only the first shell electron first between the first shell and the nucleus there are no repulsive force having okay so first shell and uh, nucleus are uh, the first shell electrons experience feel very high nuclear force okay so then so this nuclear force depending upon the azimuthal quantum number you know nuclear nuclear charge depending upon the azimuthal quantum number that is l small l you know it represents the shape of the atomic orbitals okay the nuclear force it depend upon the sub shell okay sub shell that is sp d and or, uh, f orbitals so how the how we we can write the decreasing order of nuclear force like this you can write now so first orbits s orbital first s orbital s orbital it is very closer to the nucleus so the effective nuclear force is very have have high nuclear force among the uh, formed between the s orbital and the nucleus okay so here nuclear charge is very high when compared to p orbital so s is greater than p orbital and when compared p orbit d orbital p orbital also very high nuclear force okay so because the d orbital is far away from the nucleus okay when compare comparing uh, d and f orbital d orbital is high nuclear force than f orbital okay understood okay so the nuclear force uh, it is uh, it is nuclear force having the nucleus the positive charge attracts the p shell and p sub shell and d sub shell and f sub shell also but here repulsive force opposite opposite force also having what, what is the opposite force repulsive force also uh, having the between the d and f sub shell so the nuclear force is very low to the 
f orbital d orbital also okay so the uh, s orbital is very closer to the nucleus so it feel very high nuclear charge okay understood and then we are going to study about the stability of the orbital and the energy of the orbital stability and the energy of the orbitals okay if nuclear charge is increasing the stability of the orbital is also increase okay you know this uh, i explain now this orbital it is very closer to the nucleus so it, it has very high uh, nuclear charge okay so very high nuclear charge the stability also here high when compared to p d and f orbital okay because the greater nuclear charge the electron the the protons the protons are or positive charge it tightly it tightly attract the electrons of the s orbital okay so this s orbital electrons we can easily we cannot easily remove okay the electrons from the s orbital we can't easily remove because the high high heavy nuclear force they are act, acting okay we cannot remove easily so that the s orbital p orbital okay uh, the orbital near the nucleus it is very stable when compared to uh, far away of the orbitals from the nucleus okay so the energy okay uh, when we are uh, telling about the energy the energy it is the s orbital you know already you know the s orbital uh, the n value uh, will be low the energy will be low okay the s orbital uh, the s orbital p orbital is also very low energy okay so the increase in order of energy you know s orbital is very high energy when compared to p orbital the p orbital very high energy when compared to d orbital and f orbital very high energy when compared to d orbital okay understood okay these are about the increasing order of energy for the orbitals among the orbitals this is the uh, decreasing order of nuclear nuclear force among the orbitals okay these are the today energies of orbitals okay today assignment what is first assignment there are two assignment today i am giving first assignment what is n plus l value uh, write the n plus l value for the different orbitals what is n plus l value write the n plus l value of different orbitals second write the increasing order of energies increasing order energies of orbitals okay should study well should study very very important okay the some if very few students only to uh, yesterday and uh, study class uh, sent uh, sent the assignment uh, other students i don't know what happened there Uh, listen carefully this is very basic concept for your higher studies okay uh, for that all the standard and uh, and other uh, uh, chapter also this is this very basic okay you should understand this concept clearly then only you can study well you can get good mark okay you should write the assignment if you have if you have not book uh, now you note it now the two questions now note what is n plus l value this is the n plus l value definition and this is the n plus l value of different orbitals and this is the increasing order of energies of orbitals right now n plus n rule n plus n rule means n plus n rule not value n plus n rule and write the n plus n rule n plus l rule 
of different orbitals. Okay, it states that the lower of n plus uh, lower the value of n plus l for an orbital, the lower is its energy. If two orbitals have the same value of n plus l, the orbital with lower value of n n will have the lower energy. Using this rule, the order of energies of various orbital can be expressed as follows. Write this. And this is the increasing order of energies of orbitals. 1s is less than 2s, less, less than 2p, less than 3s and 3p, 4s, 3d. Write clearly, study clearly. Okay. You should understand this concept very clearly. Thank you. Thank you all of you.